Um, hey guys, welcome back. Um, before I start this video, um, there's a reason why I've not been on my phone or like recording, not recording, making like uploading videos for like three weeks. One, I was in Jamaica and I couldn't upload videos. And, um, but did upload any videos because roaming charges and, um, my mom didn't want to pay so many roaming charges. Like, uh, she, she didn't want to pay over like $100 on roaming charges. So that's also the reason. And then the second reason is that I dropped my phone. So technically, I'm on my nephew's phone, but I had dropped my phone. What's up? That's Joshua. What's up? So I had dropped my phone. This is my phone. It looks like it's perfectly normal, right? Like nothing's wrong. There is a crack on the the, the camera, but you won't see it. But going closer, like right there. I don't know if you can see it, but it's like a crack. Like, I'm trying to see. Uh -huh. You see that? No, no, no. I got it. You see that crack right there? That little small crack right there? That crack is go from, it's like make a U under the under the camera, which is the circle right there. Um, For some reason. And um, I don't know. It's not working. So, like, look. See that? You saw that glitched? Yeah. It's not working. It's like it's just turned off. And I can kind of hear like notifications, but I can't use it. It's just like broken. And I only crashed like one time in Jamaica. Which I am so confused on how did that happen. Because then when I went to the AT&T, they said that the SIM card is literally right here. Like this is where the SIM card is. And I'm like, how is the SIM card there? When you see the SIM card in the middle of the phone. Which is weird. But... I checked. Like that because it's a newer phone, so they changed the they changed the phone into for the same every card to be on this side, not not the big one. Yeah. So technically, um, I just got my phone today. Um, so I'm going to set that up. It's technically is okay, my I... newer phone is the Samsung Galaxy A32. Yeah. Um, so that's it, because there's no more of the yeah, Samsung Galaxy A12. Um, yeah. But that's the newer phone. I think I'll show you a picture. Just, can you go get the phone? That's the new phone you got? Yep. Here's the newer phone. I, it looks I, similar. I knew, I knew you needed it. It's, it looks similar to the newer one. I mean, the next one I have. But this yes. is the back. Um, this is, like, the side. And... But this one... This one has like three cameras at here, and um, and this one is it's the new one, new one that I have on my phone. It's the newer of the better one of this one. It says, um, but yeah. So I'm gonna set this up, and then I'm gonna connect with all my stuff and make sure all my stuff is on there, so I can upload for you guys and, and text all my friends because I'm. He subscribed to my channel. His channel is Joshua Ward, but um, yeah. Sorry if I didn't text um, or subscribe to my TikTok. Sorry to all my friends that didn't text or didn't call or anything. I was pan. I am very upset and sorry. I really wanted to text you guys, but I couldn't. And then also, sorry if I didn't upload videos for three weeks or I think four weeks by now. Like four or five weeks right now. But when I, I'm going to set my phone up so I can upload videos and text all my friends. Because I know I am, I miss all my friends. I am, I, I wouldn't text them back. So, bye. That's it. But on to the video. Okay, hey guys, welcome to the video. So basically, um, I am going to upload the videos and the pictures that I have done. I'm, I'm going. To, I'm trying to figure out how to put them into editing because normally I know how to edit videos, but I don't know how. Like the pictures are not going to the editing app. It's like it's not showing into. I don't know what's going on, but because they're all backed up to my old phone, like because I, um. So, um, we get on to the video. So, since it's back to school season, um, time for back to school videos. So, I'm going to be t um, posting a lot of back to school videos, and then I'm also be posting um, videos from the trip, the trip from Jamaica too. So, yeah, let's get on to the video. Okay. So, there is a the light is changing because I'm near the window. This is where the window is, so the light is changing. 
So the, the video we're going to be talking about, things I wish I knew in high school, because I'm currently going to be a freshman in college. Wow, okay. Um, but the first thing um, I want to talk about is that freshman year does matter. Your freshman year of high school does matter. Um, people tell you that your freshman year of high school matter. It actually does because colleges technically look at if you're going to college. Colleges look at your freshman year and to see how you did. And then they look from there and it all fits onto your high school. They don't really look at middle school. They look at high school, your high school transcript. Um, but I didn't really take my freshman year seriously. I My grades were not good. They were, I would say they were C's. They were like B's and some C's, mostly C's. So they wasn't good, but your freshman year does matter. Um, take your freshman year seriously. Make sure that you have good grades. They don't have to be all A's, but make sure that they're actually good grades where you actually okay with. And um, yeah. The second one is that take the classes you're comfortable taking. So take the classes that you know you want to take. Don't take classes that your friends are taking. Take the classes that you want to take and that interest you, not classes that you don't want to do and you just sit there in a class that you don't want to do at all. And number three, do some extracurricular club activities. Um, do ones that are either inside school, outside of school. Um, just be active, or if you don't want one to do one with active, you can do one that's with debate or one with art. Like classes, like take extracurricular clubs that you want to do that interest you and, um, because colleges also look at the extracurricular activities you do. What, is, what else did you do besides school? What other clubs or things did you take or do? Um, that's what they look at. And then number four. Number four is you don't have to go to college. You technically don't have to go to college. After school, after high school, you can technically go and get a job. You can go into the workforce. You can do your own business. Um, you can just go to, if you want to go to, you can go straight to a four-year college, or you can go to a two-year college with a two-year will be associates, and then a four-year will be a bachelor's, or you can just go straight for your master's. Or you can just go to a community college. There's no problem if you're going to a community college if because college is expensive, um, depending on which college you go to. So if you, it's okay to go to a community college, so it can help you, um, help you because a community college is lesser, more or lesser expensive than an actual college that's like four years and like that. Um, but you don't have to go to college. If you want to just go do, um, have a job and that's it, you can do that. You don't have to be forced to do that. But if parents tell you, but the thing is, just do you. Don't have someone tell you to do something. No, you don't. So. Number five, your mental health does matter. Mental health does matter. Make sure that your your mental health is um, good. Make sure that it's not so stressed where your mental health is all over the place and make sure that you tell yourself every single day that you look beautiful or you look handsome and then and um especially in school your mental health does matter especially in high school because your mental health can get all over the place it can be from good one day and then bad the next day make sure that you have your mental health and that it's not messed up or anything. So. Be your next number six. Number six is be yourself and don't express anyone. So meaning what I mean by be yourself is that is to technically be your own self. Be 
who you want to be. Don't be someone else that you're not or follow what someone else wants you to do or follow the needs of someone else. And what I mean by don't express anybody, express your own self. Um, be who you are. Don't, if someone tells you to wear this, you don't need to wear that. If you don't want to wear it or you don't want to do it, you don't have to do it. Do what you want to do. And express how you want to express. So be your own person. Yeah. Number seven. Seven? Yeah, number seven. Is it is good to have a savings account. Make sure that you have a savings account. I need to do this. Yeah. Make sure you have a savings account in case. So it would be prepared for when you get older like as an adult. Like you, yeah. That would have a lot of things on, on that. Number eight, time management. Make sure that you have time management, meaning that make sure that you organize well with school and then other activities outside of school. Make sure that you get your assignments turned on time so it doesn't be late and then you get stressed about it later on. And yeah, sometimes it's not easy actually to get all your stuff turned in on time because sometimes you do get lazy and you don't have time to do other stuff, especially when you have other things to do outside of school. So time management is a key. Number nine. Number nine. Number nine is to stick with the small group of friends. The small group of friends or the big group of friends that you have, stick with them. The ones that you know that are good, like... The ones that help you and know that they care about you. The ones that you can say that you can always talk to them or the ones that you can always be around with and always be happy with and that they won't judge you no matter what. And that you can always ask them about anything and they would give you advice about it or they would tell you if it's right or wrong without it being in a mean way. And also, the those small group of friends that you have, make sure that they're also the ones that okay with how you look and don't be telling you, you should wear this or that and if it's in a mean way. Make sure that they're the friends that you know you can keep and always be sticking around with. Even if it's like a small group or like one best friend or two best friends or like the little small group you have, keep that. Don't um, go to a bigger group of friends that would turn you down, make fun of you on it, or don't say nice things to you. Keep the small group of friends that you have. That will last you forever. Number 10. Number 10 is don't take the SAT and ACT late. I didn't need to take the SAT and ACT. Actually, I was going to take the SAT and ACT, but I took them late. Um, I was going to take it like later, like close to senior year of high school. But I didn't have to take it because technically it was... I didn't have to take it because this year, because they said I didn't have to take it. It wasn't a requirement for um, us come seniors for 2021. But rising seniors, please take it early. Um, take your SAT and ACT early, um, like your junior year or your sophomore year. Your junior year is when you, you start taking it. So start taking it earlier. And um, so you don't have to stress about it later in senior year with all the other things you have to do senior year. Yeah. Um, number 11 is if you apply to, co uh, apply to colleges as many as you want. If you are going to college, apply as many colleges as you want. But make sure that you have, because um, some colleges, when you do it, the application is not free, so apply to as many as you can or as many as you want. 
Um, if you want to apply to only one college, then that's good. Apply to only one college. Apply to as many as you can or as you want. Um, but make sure that there are the colleges that you want to do. Don't apply to a college that you was like, okay, um, I just applied to this because, because apply to it if you know you want to be in there. Um, and also, you don't have to have your, um, I, the idea you want to do, meaning that you don't have to have your career you want to do already. If you don't know what you want to do, then put on the college thing undecided or when you figure out in college if, if you know you want to go to college just put on there undecided or pick a major that you think you might like and later on you can figure it out or or just think of like make a list of things that you know that you like to do that may help you with your interest in your career Number 12, senior-itis is real. Senior-itis pretty much your senior year, you technically get lazy and things that you know you have turned in, you start to get lazy about it and you start to get stressed because all these things you have to do. Um, yeah, it's a thing. Because your senior year, you're technically ready, done with school. You're ready to just graduate and just go. But... Senior itis is real. You have to make sure that you get your grades in. Make sure your grades are good. Make sure that you finish this finish the last year of high school strong. Don't mess up, please. I know it's gonna be hard, but just try. Number thirteen is enjoy your time in high school. Enjoy the best time in high school. Enjoy the years that you can. Try to enjoy your time with your friends. Make every moment count. Even, even if you have to record videos of your mean of you and your friends. Um, take pictures with them. Make sure you know make every count of every friend that you have. Make enjoy make the good moments, the laughter, all the good exciting moments you have with your friends, so you can look back on it later. Last but not least is number fourteen. Number 14, make it from the start to end. Make it from the start to end, meaning from freshman year all the way to senior year. Make the moments, um, make, yeah. make the moment count. Make it from the start to end. Start from, from freshman year strong and ending senior year strong. Don't mess up. Try to do your best. Try to make sure that you get your stuff. You don't have to be a top A student. But just try to don't slack off as best you can. It might be hard to not to try to slack off, but there's some might be some days where you don't do anything, you might feel lazy and don't and not feel motivated. You might feel unmotivated to do it. It's hard. So just try your best. Is that's all you can do? It's always to try your best. And make it from start to end. Um, yeah. But to everybody from rising seniors, rising incoming freshmen, um, rising sophomores, rising juniors, um, make every moment count. Be yourself. Don't let anyone tell you different. And always express yourself how you want to use, wear what you want to wear. Um, and don't let anybody um, pressure you to anything you're supposed to want to do. And um, exactly yes, and also you go. Okay. Also, um, you don't have to be part if you don't want to, but always just make every moment count in high school. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. See you next time for another video, and see you guys next time. Hope this um advice things I knew before high school helped you in high school and yeah bye